Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current PHP version. With that, we will also run a PHP program quickly. For that, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. Type PHP. Press enter. On pressing enter, go below the official website is visible php.net. Click on it. So guys, we have reached the official website and herein you can see 8.1.7 is visible, the current version. Click on downloads. Go to windows download since we want for windows and here is the current version. So herein php 8.1.7 is visible. One of them is non-thread safe and other is thread safe. Always go for the thread safe version and it is for x64 that means 64 bit windows 10 operating system. So for thread safe click on the zip file it's only 29 MB. So guys we have successfully downloaded the zip file right click and show in folder. Now here it is right click and let us extract here extract all. Click on extract. Here it is go to downloads again let me rename this. Okay, PHP 8.7, that's it, 8.1.7. Now we have our file, copy it, take it to C drive, program files, and just right click and paste it here, that's it. Give permission, click on continue. Now it will get paste here. Here it is, now we have our PHP 8.1.7. Now guys, open this, copy the path. Go to start, type environment variables. After typing environment variables, you can see you need to click on the first one that is edit the system environment variables. Click on open. Now under advanced, click on environment variables. Under system variables, go to path, double click, click on new and right click paste the same path, PHP path. Click on OK. Click on OK and the last OK. That's it. Now minimize this. Now let us go to CMD. Click on Open. Now here in let us verify PHP space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here it is. We successfully installed PHP 8.1.7. Now let us see how we can run our first PHP program. For that, right click and directly create a new file. Let's say I'll name it Amit dot it will change to txt now I'll need to rename it to php okay right click rename php when I'll keep the cursor it will ask me to change the file extension yes I want to change it now I have a php file if you're not getting the extensions option and rename options go to go to here here in go to view and here in just select file name extension that's it okay so all the extension will be visible after this and you can easily rename it. Which I did. Now we have our PHP file. The right click and open with open with notepad or notepad plus plus. I'll open with notepad let's say. Now let us run our first PHP program. So I printed this randomly. So this PHP program starts with the following and ends with the following. And the extension is .php I told you before. Go to file, click on save. Now we have a PHP file here, okay. Here it is. When you keep the cursor, it will show type PHP file. Now how we will run it? Go to same command prompt, type dir, press enter and on typing dir. Now you can see the desktop is visible here. So how will you reach the desktop? Type cd space desktop and press enter. So we have reached the desktop, type dir again. And all the desktop files are visible. Amit.php also. Here it is. Now to run it, that's it. Type PHP space Amit.php. Press enter. Here it is Amit. And this is what we printed Amit. That's it. Okay. So this is how you can easily run your first PHP program also. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily download and install PHP as well as run our first PHP program. Thank you for watching the video.